assalamu alaikum everyone hope so you guys are doing well so today we are going to discuss management of macrosomia as the complications risk factors were previously discussed now uh, management is going to be in a non diabetic mother as well as in a diabetic mother so management in suspected fetal macrosomia in non diabetics now how to manage this lady so if there are no indications then induction of labor should not be carried out now what is induction of labor now what is induction of labor induction of labor is the stimulation of uterine contractions during pregnancy before labor begins so it should not be done if there are no indications so but if there are if the mother is high risk for shoulder dystocia then discuss the advantages and disadvantages with the mother and then act accordingly now management in diabetes mellitus now how to treat this mother if the mother has type 1 or type 2 diabetes as the mother can have a uh, type 1 or type 2 diabetes or the mother can have gestational diabetes but if the mother has type 1 or type 2 diabetes then uh, you will have to manage the mother accordingly like if the mother will have complications uh, sorry if the mother will have no complications then elective birth should be between 37 plus 0 to 38 plus 6 weeks of pregnancy now i i've been using this word elective birth now what actually is elective birth elective birth can be uh, elective means that it is planned you have the uh, doctor have planned already so elective induction is usually done when the mother is at term and term is at uh, almost 37 weeks but usually it is done uh, in elective induction is done at 39 weeks um and the second one is that elective birth can also be uh, elective c section or planned c section and we will say that elective planned elective or planned c section is when the mother knows that she will need a c section before she goes into labor so now when to do elective c section elective c section should only be offered if the fetal weight is greater than 4.5 kg in diabetic mothers and greater than 5 kg in non diabetic mothers so these are the indications for the a uh, elective c section otherwise there is no need for elective c section but if the mother is guess uh, if the mother is diabetic but the diabetes is gestational so now uh, if there are no complications again if there are no complications and if there are fetal maternal complications if no com- complications are there then elective birth should be no later than 40 plus 6 and 40 plus 6 is also known as full term pregnancy and but if there are complications then go for a uh, 40 plus 6 weeks elective birth should be before 40 plus 6 weeks now when the baby is born when the baby is born now this baby can have neonatal hypoglycemia so now how can this baby be have neonatal hypoglycemia as i have already discussed in my previous video that as uh, uh, for example this this mother was diabetic this mother was diabetic and she had lot of glucose molecules in her blood stream now this a uh, uh, glucose was being this glucose was being used by this fetus by this baby and the pancreas was working uh, more than it usually does and it was making a lot of insulin 
सो नाउ वट रिली हैपन इज दैट वेन अ मदर हैज डायबिटीज़ हर फीटस इज एक्सपोज टू इंक्रीज लेवल्स ऑफ ग्लूकोज द फीटस रिस्पॉन्ड्स बाई प्रोड्यूसिंग इंक्रीज लेवल्स ऑफ इंक्रीज लेवल्स ऑफ इंसुलिन नाउ वेन द अम्बलाइकल कॉर्ड इज कट वेन द बेबी इज बॉन्ड दिस अम्बलाइकल कॉर्ड इज कट एंड द बेबी इज बॉन्ड द इन्फ्यूजन ऑफ ग्लूकोज टू द न्यूनेट सीजिस एंड इट मे टेक आर्स और इवन डेज फॉर द न्यूनेट टू डिक्रीज इट्स इंसुलिन प्रोडक्शन सो एज इंसुलिन इज बींग प्रोड्यूस्ड बट नो ग्लूकोज इज देयर सो द बेबी विल अंडर गो हाइपोग्लाइसीमिया सो नाउ हाउ टू प्रिवेंट दिस द प्रिवेंशन ऑफ न्यूनेटल हाइपोग्लाइसीमिया इज दैट द ब्लड ग्लूकोज लेवल ऑफ दिस बेबी शुड बी चेक एट टू टू फोर आवर्स आफ्टर बर्थ इन बेबीज बॉर्न टू डायबेटिक मदर्स एंड फीड द बेबीज विद इन थर्टी मिनट्स आफ्टर बर्थ एंड देन एट फ्रीकुंट इंटरवल्स एवरी टू टू थ्री आवर्स थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड आई होप यू गाइज हैव अंडरस्टूड द टॉपिक एंड इफ यू अंडरस्ट इफ यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दैन डू सब्सक्राइब लाइक एंड शेयर जजाकल्ला खैर अल्लाह हाफिज़